Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 9.2, Ordered Pairs. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to graph and name points on a coordinate grid using ordered pairs. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, today's lesson, Ordered Pair, has a lot of vocabulary. I've given you a vocabulary sheet, but there is some information at the top of the page that I'm going to read as well. It says, locating a point on a coordinate grid is similar to describing directions using north, south, east, and west. The horizontal line on the grid is called the x-axis. Remember that horizontal goes this way, so the x-axis is found here along the bottom. The vertical line is called the y-axis. Y-axis goes up and down, so the y-axis is found here. Each point on a coordinate grid can be described with a ordered pair that tells us where on the x-coordinate, which is the first number in the ordered pair, and where on the y-coordinate, which is the second number in the ordered pair, and that helps us find where it is on the graph. So we have an example of a parenthesis x comma y parenthesis. The x coordinate always comes first and the y coordinate always comes second. And we always always start at what we call the origin, which is the corner where they both meet, which is 0 comma 0. So knowing all that, let's re begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, write the ordered pairs for the locations of the arena and the aquarium. Locate the point for which you want to write an ordered pair. Look below at the x-axis to identify the point's horizontal distance from zero. That will be its x-coordinate. So the first thing that we are looking for is the arena. So the arena is right here and we are going to go down the runway like an airplane first. So we're going to go go down the x-axis until we get to the arena, and that's three. And then, like an airplane, we're going to rise up into the air to where the arena is, and that's two. So the ordered pair for the arena is three comma two, because I went three down the x-axis and then two up the y-axis. All right, now let's see if we can find the aquarium. So we're going to start with the same process. We're going to go down the x-axis first. So we're going to go all the way down here to the aquarium. That looks like it's a 9. Then we're going to go straight up to where the aquarium is, and that looks like it's a 4. So our ordered pair for the aquarium would be 9, 4. Underneath it says, describe the path you would take to get from the origin to the aquarium using horizontal and then vertical movements. So if I was walking this, if I was standing at this point zero, zero, then I would walk down the x-axis nine units and then I would go up four units. So let's write that. We would, I would go nine units to the right, then up four units. And that would get us to our point, the aquarium. Great job so far. Let's continue on with example one and two in the rest of our lesson. Example one says use the graph. A point on a coordinate grid can be labeled with both an ordered pair, a number, or both. This helps us know what point we are talking about. So for example, it says A, plot the point five, seven, and it is labeled with J. So if we go five down the runway, and then straight up seven, we get to this point five, seven and we can see we labeled it j b says now we're going to plot our own point we are going to go eight 
zero. So remember, we're always going to start at the or origin, and we're going to go all the way across to the eight, and then up zero. Oh, that means we're all done. So our point is right here on the x-axis. We're going to label it eight comma zero. And it also said that we were going to label it s. So now it says from the origin, we're going to move right eight units, and then we moved up zero units, and then we plotted and labeled our point. Point s is at eight comma zero. Great job. Let's keep practicing in example two. Example two actually has a slightly different skill. On this skill, we want to know the distance between two points. Once we know that they're both on the same coordinate grid, we can say how far apart they are from each other. So it says find the distance between two points. You can find the distance between two points when they are on the same horizontal or vertical line. Step one says draw a line segment from point A to point B. So point A is right here, and we're gonna draw a line, connect it to point B. Step two says count the vertical units between the two points. I find it most helpful if you count the lines between them. So we start at A and we go one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six units between A and B. Question one, points A and B on a vertical line segment have the same x coordinates. How could you use subtraction to find the difference between the points? So instead of counting, they wanna ask us, how would we find the difference using subtraction? Well, I know that they both have on the x-axis the number nine, and nine minus nine doesn't do anything for me. But if I look at the y-axis, then I have three and nine. So I'm going to use the y axis to subtract. So that would mean, remember, bigger numbers go first. Nine minus three gives us six, which is what we counted as well. So we can use subtraction instead of counting. Question two says graph the points three comma two and five comma two and then how can you use subtraction to find the difference between these two points? So let's graph them first. So if I'm gonna start, remember, at the origin, so I'm gonna go over to the right three, and then up two, here's my first point. And same thing, start all the way at the center, over to the right five, and then up two. So now you can see I went up to the same time. So this one would be three comma two, and this one would be five comma two. And in this case, the y axis are the same. Two minus two doesn't tell us the distance between them. So this time we want to use the x axis to subtract. So we have five minus three gives us two. These points are two away from each other, and we could count one, two, and we could check two away from each other. Great job, fifth graders. All right, fifth graders, time for the lesson activity. The lesson activity is the first part of the share and show problems on the next page. You're going to do number one through four. I'll help get you started. You don't need to do this in your math notebook. You can go ahead and do it on your lesson pages. We will continue with five through 10 together at the teacher table. So let's get started. It says we're going to use coordinate grid A, that's this plot here, to write ordinate pairs for the given point. So it says first we're gonna find C. So C is right here. So we're gonna count, remember, from the origin, zero, zero, and we're gonna go to the right first down the runway and then up like an airplane. So we go all the way to six and then up three. So our line is at six comma three. And it is important that we put the parentheses around it and a comma in the middle because that tells everyone who's looking at our math that this is an ordered pair. If we don't do the parentheses and we don't do the comma and we just write six three, then the number 63 doesn't tell us where the point is. So it's really important that we follow the formula. 
All right, let's look at number two. Number two is D. So we're going to start at zero, zero, and we're going to go down the runway to the three. Oh, and then we don't rise at all. So our is three comma zero. The next two that you're trying to find are E and F. Remember, you want to go down the runway first and then up the Y axis. Do these two on your own and we'll talk about it tomorrow at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.